Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to access and clone GitHub repository using SSH key in your terminal. My name is Ayaz Zafar and welcome to my channel Ayaz Tech. Let's get started. So first of all, I will create a GitHub repository to show you. So clone test. I will set it name as and click on the create repository okay I have created this repository and next I will click on the settings and uh, go to the deploy keys and click on the add deploy key so here I will uh, add the title for my SSH key that we are going to create in next step shortly so my keys and uh, now we have to generate the SSH key if that is not already generated in your computer. So first of all you will have to go to your SSH key folder to make sure if key is already generated or not. If it is not generated then we will generate, generate it from the sketch. So let's check it. I am going to uh, first of all you have to go to the home directly by, directory by using CD this and now you should use cd.ssh command to go to the ssh key here check the available content in this directory as you can see that this directory is empty so that that means we have to generate the ssh key from the scratch so i am going to use this command to do that so for example here you have to add the email address that you want to attach with this yastek at gmail.com so I pressed the enter button and let's see it is going to ask you some questions like it is asking you that uh, at which location you want to store this key so by default it, uh, it will store in this path where we are already so I am not going to change it so I will just press the enter without typing anything so that it could use the default location to store the files next it is asking you uh, if you want to add extra password on your keys uh, I will say no I don't want to use so I will just press the enter uh, and next if you want to add some uh, passphrase you can add but I will just press enter alright it has generated the key for you let me clear it and I will show you look at this you can see we have now two files created first file is id underscore rsa this is the private key and uh, this is the public key uh, you, you do not have to provide the private key just have you just have to get the content of this file and put it into the github account repository so let's do that mm, I do I run this command mostly to get the content of any file cat id rsa.pub it will give you all of the content of this file I will just select it from here like this copy it and go back to the github repository settings page here i will just paste it like this and add key and i also want to give it to the give it the right access so that i can also push to it okay so let's check i am uh, going back to the home directory again by doing this uh, actually you to go back to the home directory you just have to type the cd and nothing else it will take you back to the home directory of the Linux uh, of the Mac so here and as you can see that currently there is no extra folder except these now I'm going to clone my directory uh, my github so let's check git clone this repository and you can see that it is cloning it I am just going to say yes 
okay it has cloned the directory the repository in your home directory let's check it to make sure you can see that it has created a new folder here that is the repository that we just have cloned here so I'm going into the folder uh, obviously this is the empty repositories that is why there is nothing in this folder yet but I'm going to write something in this uh, repository and push it to make sure if it push the code to the repository on the github or not so let's see I'm going to open the VS code just to make sure quickly so let's create a file in dex.html html okay now I'm going to uh, commit and push it so git status yes we have a file I'm going to stage it then git commit with a message initial files okay it is saying that uh, if uh, you are in a fresh uh, computer with a fresh installation of git then you will have to provide some information to git before uh, doing any commits so it is asking me to provide uh, the email address and the name uh, for the git software globally so that it can it can utilize this information so first of all as this is the fresh installation of git in my computer so that is why i will have to do this once but if uh, git is already installed in, in your computer and it is already done by you then you will not have to do that in your case so i'm just copying this command paste it here i will just use the default email and password so you can also do that you 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 will have you you might like to change the email address to your own email instead of this one so now i have, i will have to add the name okay settings are done now i want to commit it so let's see if it allows me to commit okay now i'm going to push it all right it worked it allowed me to push the files to push the changes to the github repository now let's refresh the github repository page to make sure if, we, if it shows the content or not okay guys uh, this thing worked so the purpose of this video has been accomplished so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share and also don't forget to click on the bell button if you want to see all of the notification from all of my new oncoming upcoming videos in the future so thank you for watching my video see you later